Good morning, my sister and brother. We're here trusting that you are doing well. Happy Thursday. Imagine it's Thursday already. I just put my grandbaby down for her nap. So let us get started. So it stayed here. May your day begins with a smile on your face, a song in your heart, and joy in your soul. Father God, as we're going into this topic, Father God, I ask you, Father God, to decrease me, Father God, so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, so let's get started. We are in to be like Jesus. That's where we are, to be like Jesus. And the topic is going to be every spiritual gift is important every spiritual gift is important so we're going to look at first corinthians first corinthians 12 verse is 4 and 5 first corinthians 12 verses 4 and 5 and it states here now there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit and there are differences of administrations but the same Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. So, Father God, as we go into this topic, Father God, we ask you to open our hearts and mind to receive this information. Thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, so we at a spiritual, every spiritual gift is important. You know, sometimes we go to church and some people think because they got certain positions, they're more important than the other individual. But let's take a look and see what the word says. It says, study the scripture carefully. God has not given to everyone the same line of work. It is his plan that they shall be unity in diversity. When his plan is studied and followed, there will be far less friction in working off the cause. There are many members in the body, and all members have not the same office, but each one is essential to the perfection of the work. The body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. It is therefore not of the body. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. It is therefore not of the body. If the whole body were an eye, there were the hearing. If the hold are hearing, if the hold were hearing, where are the smelling? But now had God set the members, every one of them in the body, as it has pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. And God has set some in the church, first apostle, secondary prophet, thirdly teachers and after that miracles then gifts of healing helps government diversity of tongues meaning that somebody speaks spanish somebody speaks germany somebody speak you know and it goes on and on and on somebody speak english goes on and on and on and it said and the lord desire his church to respect every gift that he has bestowed on the different members. Let me repeat this. The Lord desire his church to respect every gift that he had bestowed on the different members. Let us beware of allowing our minds to become fixed on ourselves, thinking that other people cannot be serving the Lord unless they are working on the same line as those on which are let me go back. Let me go back. Let us, be, let us be aware of allowing our minds to become fixed on ourselves, thinking 
that other people cannot be serving the Lord unless they are working on the same line as those on which we are working. Never is a worker to say, I do not want to work with such a one because he does not see things as I do. I wish to work with someone who will agree with all I say and follow out all my ideas. Or if you say all my idea, all my ideas. It says, I wish to work with someone who will agree with all, all, all I said and follow out all my ideas. The one, the worker, the one, the worker thus refused to connect with many. Let me go back. The one, the one, the workers thus refused to connect with, with, with may have truth to present that has not yet been presented. Let me repeat this. The one, the worker, thus refused to connect with may have truth to present that have not yet been presented because of the worker's refusal to accept the help provided by the Lord. The work is made one sided. Mm. Let me repeat this because we have a lot of that issues in the church. It says, and then too, also in the workforce, right? Also in the workforce, it says that the one, the worker, thus refused to connect with, with, may have truth to present that has not yet been presented because of the worker's refusal to accept the help provided by the Lord. The work is made one-sided. Mm. So that concludes my devotion, my sister and brother. Every spiritual gift is important. Every spiritual gift is important. So it doesn't matter what type of position you have in the church. All of it is important. It doesn't matter what position you have in the public, meaning that whether you're a doctor's attorney, you're a clerk, you're a teacher, whatever profession you find yourself, you are needed, my sister and brother. It is important. Everything is important. The contract, the, the uh, person that fixed the house, con, uh, construction workers, the people that um, harvest the, the, the fruits, the ones that pick the fruits, the reapers, the people, the farmers, all the one is important. So we have to be able to acknowledge each one for what they do, my sister and brother. All of us cannot be at the same. All of us cannot be pastors or attorneys or doctors and why would everybody wants to be all that right because god has given us different different um different skills different talents and whatever it is you could be a, a great writer you could be someone that be on the phone and have such a, a great voice you could be you know whatever god has called you to be Whatever it is, just do it to your best of your ability, uh, best of your ability, and ask God for the other talents that you may have buried, that God wants to to awaken, and so we have to be very mindful of everything because we all need each other to make it into the kingdom, my sister and brother. Each one, reach one. Everyone needs to reach one person in order to make it into the kingdom. When we go on the job, each one of us. We'll become a team because we're working for the same purpose. The same purpose is that cooperation, that corporation that hired you to do a job and it's to do whatever there to benefit them. So it's the same thing with the kingdom of heaven. There's different rules and regulation that governs God's people. And this is our this is our guidelines. It's all in the Bible, my sister and brother. So whatever you want to find whatever issues you have you can find the solution in the word of god but sometimes i sometimes i believe that most of us are don't have the patience we are always in a hurry and we know that it takes time think things time things take time even a gardener has to be very patient because you could plant a seed and that's why you don't plant one seed <laughs> you plant many seeds I remember this uh, summer, my uh, my husband plant. We planted uh, watermelon, and he had, I believe, was nine seed, 
and out of the nine i believe like maybe only four um only four made it only four trees bear bear fruit you know so that's why we have to plant so many seeds in the ground because you don't know which one will come up which one will yield a harvest so it's just like we my sister and brother so whatever gift god has you to do you don't know what it is that's going to be able to touch someone else maybe you just say a kind word that will be something that someone needs that day. Maybe you are a person that wrote a book. Someone read, read that book and it's like you, you brought them into to think about something else to, to improve their life. So wherever you find yourself, just give praise and honor and glory to God, my sister, brother, because he is using you. And if you are a senior uh, that's maybe retired, God still needs you in his service he still needs you in his service my sister brother so with that let us go ahead and pray i have another um, prayer here and it says so let us go ahead and bow for prayer it says today every day i am praying for you i speak of blessings into your life i pray for sunshine to light your way and i pray for god to hug you tight when you face every challenges along the way. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for this message. Father God, thank you, thank you. I thank you for my sister, my brother, that stopped by here today. Father, we ask you that you will examine each and every one of us. If we had said or done anything, Father God, that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight today, Father God, we ask you to wash us and make us whiter than snow. And Father God, we ask you, we give you permission. We surrender these empty vessels to you. Fill us up, Father God, with the love, the joy, the peace that we need right now, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, for being such a mighty God. Your Father, that you sit high, you look low, and you have already dispatched angels, Father God, to answer each and every one of our prayer. And we thank you, Father God. We thank you for hearing. We thank you for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, so this is Birthday Warrior. You can find me at birdofwarrior.com. There you find a free ebook. You find a book that you can purchase. And also follow me over YouTube under Birdell Warrior. There's a wealth of information there for you and your whole entire family, my sister and brother. And it's kids friendly. It's kids friendly. So with that, I love you. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. And with that, let us do the four hugs for survival. We know that there's four for survival eight for maintenance, and then there was 12 for growth, but we're only going to do the four. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Thank you, my sister, brother. I love you. I appreciate you. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care.